Train the muscles, not the joints. Welcome back to Natural Goland Bodybuilding Mountain. And today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about bicep curls and a little trick that you can use when you are doing incline bicep curls or when you're doing standing bicep curls in order to access that meat of the bicep. First we need the proper piece of equipment, just one second. As you can see, I've acquired two workout leaves. Now these are unbelievably valuable. I mean, you can buy them from my website. Funny enough, like there's a total coincidence, right? But you can buy them from my website and you can use these in order to gain uh, bicep size. But you can use dumbbells if you want to. You know, dumbbells aren't quite as good, but uh, yeah, if you don't have leaves or don't have access to leaves, then, then try some dumbbells. But anyway, what you would do is that when you're doing an incline curl, and a lot of people when they do an incline curl, they naturally just bring the arms forward when they're curling the weight. I don't even need the leaves. So when you're curling the weight, they basically curl the weight forward. Now that's fine, but what I always inherently did, and I, and I don't know why I came up with this, maybe it was just me straining or whether uh, it just felt more comfortable or whatever, I would externally rotate the arms just a bit. So when I was coming up, I'd externally rotate and that would include more bicep and less front delt. And that definitely allowed me to recruit a lot more bicep and create you know, much more bicep development from them. You can also do this when you're doing standing curls. A lot of times people will just, you know, curl straight forward, but if you stick the chest out and then curl outwards, you will notice a different recruitment pattern and you may notice that you take quite a bit of the shoulder out of the movement. Therefore, your set is ending because of the bicep hitting failure, not necessarily the burn in the delts along with, you know, a multitude of other muscle groups. Right? Now it doesn't mean that doing the dumbbell curls forward is wrong and it doesn't mean that uh, you should stop doing that if that's the most comfortable or let's just say uh, the way that you feel that your body seems to recruit the most bicep. But if you are having trouble recruiting bicep, there's no question that externally rotating the arms just a bit may help you with uh, gaining some big, 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 biggity biceps. Mountain. I'm just looking over my shoulder just to make sure that uh, there's no monsters in the woods listening to my workout tips. The last thing you want is monsters to get even bigger than they already are. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing worse than a bear that knows jujitsu coming after you. It's, it's kind of like the same premise. You know what I'm saying? It's like overkill. Usually you can tell when a bear knows jujitsu though. It's, he's usually wearing a headband and then, then you know just to stay away from that bear altogether. That's it's a good rule of thumb. So I hope this helps out in your training. Thanks a lot for watching. If you need to get a hold of me, just go to naturalgolandbodybuilding.com and thanks to the Patreon supporters and take care for now.